What is up, you guys? What's up? Oh, no, sorry. What is up, you guys? Welcome or welcome back to the video. So, in this video, we are going to be reviewing shark bands. Now, I obviously do not have one. I'm super upset that dad bought one. Wasting, literally wasting almost $200 on one. I guarantee you it will not work. Because by watching, if you watch the videos about this, you will notice that they are literally doing something that when you go out in the ocean, you don't do that daily. You don't go out in the middle of the ocean on a boat with a board and a dummy and bring bait with you to literally lure the sharks into your surroundings. Now, their testing method of this is so beyond ridiculous. And I don't know why this product even exists. Now, if they were to actually do it the right way of testing, right, testing this product, they would go about it in such a way that it would be to where they do it where, you know, hey, where it's, you know, where you take your board, you go to the beach, you put it on your arm or your ankle, and to where, you know, you're doing your normal daily beach activity surfing how you go surfing right and that would be the right thing to do by putting it on you a human being a real life human being not on a dummy and also do we also go out in the middle of the ocean on a boat with our boards no we don't we go from the beach side we don't go on the boat in the middle of the ocean the only time you go on the beach in the middle of the ocean um is when you're going fishing, right? When you're going fishing, everything else, you are on the sand. You start from that side of the beach. Now, this is not a product that I would recommend anyone to buy, even though, yes, even though I don't have one. I am telling you right now, just based off of the videos. Now, yes, I do go to the beach once in a while with family. However, if I were to buy a product to deter sharks away, to be safe in the ocean, guess what? I would not buy any products, which actually every single product that deters sharks, hate to say it, but including shark bands that look at this, $130. Now, according to the box that it says here, the dad bought where he bought his is called Swim. Hold on. It's, I looked it up because um, it got here apparently while he was still out. I don't know what he was doing surfing. I don't really know what he was doing. He recently just got home. Looks like grocery shopping. So I don't know. He's He's been gone all day. Um, and so I looked at the box and the place that he bought his is from a website called swimoutlet.com. And I looked it up, typed in our address and everything. Obviously you're not going to buy one. I just wanted to test and see how much did he actually waste on this product. And he wasted $137 on this because $128 for the products for the dumb product itself. And two, okay, shipping. If you choose two to seven business days shipping, get it for free shipping, shipping for free. But there's taxes. The taxes are $9.92, approximately 10 bucks. So basically he spent, round it all up to an even number, $140 he spent on this product. So we're gonna look over here and we're gonna look at some reviews. Okay, now look at this. So I love reading. Do they, uh, under people also ask. So under this right here, so I typed in shark bands review, okay? It says here under people also ask, the first one says, do the shark bands really work? Can a magnetic shark repellent like the shark bands product pr protect you against shark bites? Absolutely not. These shark bands act 
as only as a psychological safeguard, they have no effect at all. Last year, on December 27th, a 14-year-old surfer in Florida had an accident with a shark, despite wearing such a shark band. Now, I I believe this. Now, if they're saying that a 20 that a that a surfer, no matter the age, but in this case, in this incident on December 27th last year, December 27th, 2022, a 14-year-old surfer in Florida. Okay, you know, Florida doesn't matter. Even though, okay, yeah. And also, did you know that Florida is one of the states that has like the most like you know shark activity? And it doesn't matter what year, it doesn't matter what month, it doesn't matter what season of the year, it doesn't matter. This will not work. So listen again. I will actually read this um, to you guys again. It says, do the shark bands really work? Can a magnetic shark repellent like the shark bands product protect you against shark bites? Absolutely not. These shark bands act only as a psychological safeguard. They have no effect at all. Last year, it was in 2022, on December 27th, a 14-year-old surfer in Florida had an accident with a shark, despite wearing such a shark band. Now, I agree with that. I 100% agree with that. So that the fact that one it is it does not work, I already knew that before. You know, look, you know, like I said earlier, I already knew that before. You know, reading this to you guys, and you know, also with you know the um, you know the uh, the fact that's a psychological safeguard that. Basically, the company Shark Bands, they basically made this product with the so-called magnetic field in it to, when you put it on, when you spend over $100 on it, right? And when you get it, okay, you put it on. When you go, next time you go out in the ocean, it's the first time you go out in the ocean, when it, when it, gets, when it gets to your house or apartment, and you go and you go in the ocean, it really does, and I agree, it really does act as a psychological, you know, thing where, okay, I have it on. Okay, I feel, I, I, I feel safe. Okay, so it's just, it's just psychological. Um, and also, we're going to look at the videos as well on this. Um, um, and we're going to go over it real quick. So we're going to look, we're going to type in shark. Now, what you'll see um, in these videos is that basically the videos, the, the, the way that they, they test these uh, things is basically, you know, um, the way that they test it is, you know, by going out in the middle of the ocean with a life-size dummy, right? And they go out in the middle of the ocean, they also have like bait for the sharks, um, to, to test it. And, you know, the reason why they, I mean, and they're saying, oh, with it on, it deters the shark away from the, from the dummy and with the, and it, the dummy not wearing the, the life size dummy not wearing it, it's not gonna, you know, it, it's not, you know, it's gonna, um, you know, it's gonna, you know, the shark's gonna eat the dummy. Um, look, sharks have no desire to eat us humans. Now, if we ever, there's, there's no need to make something like this when there's a no well fact that one, it's not going to work. Two, there's no scientific, um, you know, basis of it. And there's no like scientific, you know, research basis, uh, research on this and, you know, to spend a hundred and so dollars on this is just, it's ridiculous. And, you know, I, I don't understand how somebody could be 
so out of touch with the reality to the point where they think that it's okay to buy this. Now, the fact that, you know, I'd, I'd never, ever talk about that on this channel or rarely, I, I never talk about them at all, but I'm going to talk about them in this video because he did purchase one, like I said, and he bought one and, and, you know, he's like, oh, I don't think about it. I don't care about, you know, your opinion, blah, 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 blah. Here's the thing though. What I'm going to tell you is that, look, he said he's been, so he's been surfing for 60 plus years of his life. He is 73 years old and he's been surfing all over the place. He's surfed all over here in California. He surfed in, in Australia, in New Zealand. And so the, and, and he surfed, he surfs when he goes to Mexico, he does paddleboarding and surfing and wing surfing when he's here in California and in Mexico. And he's, he surfed, you know, like I said, you know, all over everywhere else. And so, and why he would buy this makes no sense. Now, I understand that, yeah, there's a lot of shark sightings nowadays, but that's because we're taking the fit or we're taking their food out of the out of their territory. And the only reason why they would attack us is because we're swimming or surfing or paddleboarding or whatever in an area of the ocean that has like no fish, basically. And the sharks see no fish, but they see they see something else. They're gonna come to us, right? Because there's no fish, and yeah, they spit us out because we don't like they don't want us. But so it's it's beyond me why you know why something like this would exist. Now again, we're going to watch a video. Now this is just a thumbnail. This is just a thumbnail where. Um, so this thumbnail where it says how shark bands deter sharks, and then it shows a guy with the, you know, strapping on strapping it on their leg, and then the ocean, him standing on the boat, and then the shark obviously in the water. Now, what you guys will notice in the video is that so basically we have seen this video and all the other videos, but we're just gonna show one or two videos for this for this video. Is that look the shark bands don't actually work? Okay, they don't actually work, and they the way that they test it is just is just so bad, and it's not actually proving it, it, that these work. Because if you were going to prove, here's the thing: before we click on the video, is if you're going to make something that is especially as a surfer or whatever. If you're going to make something to deter sharks away, and apparently on the website, it shows, on the website it says, oh, deter stingrays away too. Well, and they called it a shark band. So, okay. Here's the thing though. If you're going to make something, engineer something to deter certain species away, like sharks, because it's mostly sharks, right? Apparently that attack us, and there's been a lot more over the decades. And you're going to test it, obviously, because you have, you have to test it in a way, in a real life scenario. Like I was saying at the beginning of the video, test it in a way, when you go and test the product, you're like, okay, the product, it's done, it's built, let's go test it and see how it works, see if it works, blah, blah, blah. They, you would test it in such a manner that it would be a real life scenario, right? Like, Putting it like get out of your car or off your bike with your board and putting the band on your ankle or on your wrist and then taking your board, going out in the ocean, and that would be the video, right? And if Shark comes along, great, you know, then post it. If it doesn't, don't post it. Wait until you've wait until like you've done enough tests when where there's a shark around you or a few sharks around you while surfing or paddleboarding or boogie boarding or whatever um and then that's how you would test it not by going on a boat out in the middle of the ocean in the middle of nowhere in the ocean basically with a life-size dummy and a board and putting the life-size dummy laying it on the board so because when you're surfing you're not laying on a board are you no you're sitting on the board if it's flat and you're waiting for waves and then when there's a wave comes along, boom, you 
there's a wave, you hop on your feet, get on, you know, and you go, right? You ride the wave. There is no scientific evidence. And the reason I guarantee you, I almost, not almost, but like 100% will guarantee you that the reason why they're using, when they you when they have, and they show the, like, every single other one of their videos, they're showing um, animations of, of sharks in some videos and animations of sharks and, 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 and a human swimming or paddling in one video um, and animations of a, you know, uh, you know, the le electro, quote unquote, electromagnetic field, whatever. And they're not showing like how this actually works. It's because they're doing it to scam you. They're doing it to scam you into buying a product that does not work. They're scamming you and they're wanting, they, they want your money, right? They want your money so they can continue to, to buy their dumb products that we all know that doesn't work. So I really hope that this 14 year old kid is okay. Um, we'll jump on into that story in another video. But in this video, I just wanted to go over, um, you know, look, if you bought this product, and have not used it yet, return it right away and write a letter to them while you're returning it. Telling them, look, I got scammed. The Shark Bands company is scamming you. Okay? And tell them you want your money back as well. So that is that is why. Okay? So if you are, if you bought it and you just got it, return the product. Get your almost $200 back so that way you can use it on something that's not a deterrent of sharks or whatever use it on something useful right don't I mean I, I, I still am shocked that he would buy this I cannot believe he would I never thought in a million years he'd ever buy something like this or this at all and when he told me that he bought this product, I was like, are you kidding me right now? You bought the $100 one? Like, it's suspicious if you ask me, right? Also, considering the fact that, like I said earlier, he has been surfing for 60 plus years. And he's 73 years old. And so, and he goes to places like Australia, New Zealand, Mexico. And he surfs all over here. And the fact that he's... Never had issues with sharks, obviously. No surfer has, right? And if you're a longtime surfer like 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 he is, and don't be dumb like him and buy this product, be smart and don't buy this product because this is I mean, let's let's just go and watch the video. This is protection, the everyday skin protection ritual that protects your skin. Um, well, turn the volume back, unmute it once the commercial's over. The idea for shark bands after a close friend was bitten by a bull shark while surfing when we were in college. It had to be simple, it had to be affordable, and it had to be stylish. I wanted a way to reduce the risk for myself and other ocean goers of all kinds. Shark fins have been tested around the world on a variety of predatory shark species. And our patented magnetic technology has been adapted into surf leashes and shark. See how you just saw right there? Here, we'll, 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 we'll enhance the video. Or you see right here, real quick, um, not enhance the video, enlarge the video so you guys can see it better. And I'll pause it. So what they're saying here is that they have tested it. You see how, what I was talking about earlier, that that they're showing an animation. And with animations, you can basically do whatever you want with the video. Make the video however you want, right? Um, so by them making this animation to its to basically scam us and make you believe that, yeah, this product really works. No, it does not. And no, it does not. Again, see, they're using an animation. See how they're using an animation of a shark, the, the ocean, the 
quote unquote electromagnetic field, right? The person. See, I mean, I mean, well, in this animation, or this this per person is diving because you can see the oxygen tank on the, the goggles and the you know oxygen thing in their mouths. But you see how like they're using animation of a human being. They're using the animation of the quote unquote electromagnetic field and their quote unquote their shark band and then animation of a, of a great white shark, right? So. It, it doesn't make any sense why they're doing this. So if they were going to actually tell the truth about, hey, look, that it actually works. I mean, okay, they title this portion of the video testing footage. They title this portion of the video magnetic technology, shark testing, fishing, product testing, testing results, and then conclusion. But nonetheless, when like every single video that I've seen over the few years, or so after learning about these things, this product is every single video, which we're not going to watch every single video, just one or two in this video, is that they are using, they are using animation. And again, with animation, you can make, I would say, characters, right? You can make the characters the scenario, situation, however you please, right? And so that's how animation works. So using animation, how is this animation going to make us all believe that this product works or make some of us believe that this works, right? You know, so take a good long, long take a good long, hard look at this right here, this part of the video, par portion of the video, can I pause for you guys? You guys can take a long, hard look at this picture. Not picture, but video. The magnetic technology has been adapted into surf leashes. I mean, they what they did was they made the shark go towards the human and swim away. This isn't gonna work. They made them do that. And they're making the the their videos and shark deterrent fishing products. This highlight video shows testing footage from many different species, like hammerheads, black tips. You see how right there, it's that they're using a dummy. Let's go back. You see right here how they're using a dummy? So they got a board and... They got a dummy on the board. I mean, everything about this product is, I don't even know. But as you guys can see here, when, so they make, so portions of their quote unquote videos that they make are, so portions of their videos are basically half animate, full on animation like you saw earlier, where they, where the whole entire portion of this video is animation where they had, you know, a diver being animated, wearing the shark band with the animation of the ocean, animation of the shark, animation of the quote unquote electromagnetic um, field, and the animation of the shark. They made the shark do that. Now with this right here, I mean, it's a dummy. Now look, yes, it's a hammerhead shark. Yes, okay, they've, they've, yeah, they've tested their 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 shark bands, you know, on many different shark species. However, they have yet to prove that it works on us humans. They've only used the shark bands in their testing videos and full-on animations and in the real world like in the ocean on dummies putting a dummy on a board that's what they're doing and they're purposely bringing the sharks in to their area to where the board is and their life-size dummy is and that's basically what it is it's not real and i guarantee you that that 14 year old kid that last December that was 
like we were reading um, on Google that, okay, I guarantee you that that 14 year old kid that was attacked by a shark while wearing the, the shark band wasn't the only case. That was just one case. I can almost guarantee, not almost, but I can 100% guarantee you that this, that 14 year old kid that was attacked last year in Florida, well, despite wearing the band, I guarantee you that that 14 year old was not the only person and not the only, as like not the only case, right? So it's just, again, I agree with the whole thing, and so should you, that it's just psychological. It's all in the head. There's no real, because they say this thing has no, the band has no batteries, so therefore it's charged, I guess, with the electromagnetic field all the time, 24-7. So you just put it somewhere in your house, and then when you go, next time you go to the, you go to the beach, you don't have to worry, you just grab it, go to the beach, put it on, and you're you're good. No, it's just when you put it on, it's just psychological. It's on the head. And, you know, when learning about this, you know, when I first heard about this, I was like, oh, cool, this seems like a cool product. But then after doing a lot of research on the product and doing, you know, doing a lot of research and reading all about it and then watching these videos from the Shark Band's company, like their videos particularly, Seeing that how they do this, the way they test it, they're not testing in a real world, like, you know, scenario. Like, it's, it's, in it's, yeah, I mean, let's continue watching the video. Black tips, bronze whalers, duskies, silkies, sandbars, and the shark responsible for most human injuries, the bull shark. Sharkman's products use patented magnetic technology to create an electromagnetic. Do you see there how they were using? If we go back here. Sharkman's. You see how we're. Yeah, I paused it right here so you guys can see. So we got a real life human being. Okay, they're wearing a shark band. Then we got. They're using an animation. See what I'm talking about? They're using an animation of the so called electromagnetic field. Continue watching the video. Products use patented magnetic technology to create an electromagnetic field. See again, but in this full-on animation, it's this time it's with a swimmer. So see how okay, there's the person, the animated animated person is swimming. They got the band on. There's the shark. That alerts sharks to stay away. And then they got the animation of the electromagnetic fields. I mean, again, they're doing this. I guarantee you also that the reason why they, you know, are not, you know, using themselves to to test the product in a real world scenario, like a real life, real world, every single day uh, scenario and why they're using life-size dummies. And they're using bait to lure the sharks in. In the middle of the ocean. I mean, that's where they always are. I mean, look, and then while they're in there using full on animation, it's because they don't know what they're doing. They do not know what they're doing. They are not smart. They know they have zero. They're they have zero idea on what they're doing when they're creating this product. Let's continue with watching the video. Imagine the feeling of a bright light shining in your eyes while you're in a dark room. This won't hurt you or the shark, but it makes you want to turn away, which is what you see here in the shark's behavior. For our wearable test, we use our dummy Bernie, who will not object to being stuffed full of bait and then sent out to the sharks. We. Oh, wow. Okay, that's new information to me. So they use, so they stuff. Okay. They stuffed the the dummy with bait okay but here's the thing though the the sharks are not dumb and also when it comes to it the sharks are not dumb to the point where they know now that over years and years and years and years of us humans trying to create such products, especially the shark bands, 
you know, that they know that, oh, we're going to use dummies and we're not going to use ourselves. That's how smart they are. So, of course, they're not going to go to the dummy because, I mean, it's it's a dummy. What, what, they don't want a dummy, right? It's, I mean, put, put aside, I mean, I still don't believe that it works. So, again, for anybody who bought this product and you just got it, you have or you haven't used it yet, return it and get your money back because you're waste you wasted your money by buying this product. We use the test dummy so we can push the limits of effectiveness to the extreme, far beyond what any ocean goer would encounter in the wild. Oftentimes, we'll have anywhere from 10 to 20 sharks present at a single testing location. Even in competitive feeding situations, when using shark bands, the sharks won't attack birdie. The effectiveness is even more pronounced when our fishing product, the Zeppelin, is put to the test. The shark is moving at high speed with its favorite food on the dinner plate right in front of it, and boom, it turns away at the last moment. The Zeppelin can even deter whole packs of sharks, like when our friend Warren Sapp landed this fish through a real shark NATO this past summer. For every test, we always use a control. The results are always dramatically different, with Bernie being chomped or the fish being eaten very quickly. Sharkman's products are designed to protect your catch when fishing and to help reduce the risk of unwanted encounters when enjoying your favorite activities in the ocean. For more information on our research and testing, visit our research page. I mean, let's go ahead and read the comments. Well, the first why would you buy this, first of all? I mean, everything is just... So before we read the comments of that video, let's just read about this. Okay, so it says, established 2014. Shark Band's products are the result of, of over a decade's worth of of peer-reviewed scientific research. Okay, I'm I'm not gonna finish reading it, it's I don't believe it when I oughta. I'm going to also report the shark band's channel as well. Report user. And I'm gonna report them as spams and scams. We're gonna report every single video. We're not even gonna write anything. We're just going, we're not even going to type anything in. We're just going to report every single video as spams and scams because it literally is a scam. Now, the reason why they, the, the, the simplicity basically of, you know, why they use dummies and they use baits and, and full on animation is to scam you. I mean, they're claiming it. it's based off of peer-reviewed studies and scientific research. To me, that is bull hockey. To me, that's bull hockey. Um, because it is beyond me why they would create such products. Um, I know, look at that. Eight years ago, shark bands on Fox News. The Tucker Carlson Fox News, guys. Um, so that right there should tell you that this does not work. My first. So let's go ahead and dislike this video as well. Let's go ahead and read the comments. This person writing, I literally told my girlfriend the other day, Someone should invent something like this after watching a few sharks attack on YouTube. Crazy. Amazing. Great video. Daughter loves to surf. We'll definitely be buying this. How about incorporating this type of technology into wetsuits as well? Also scuba fins, etc. Indeed, that's a great idea. Creating a repelling effect on the whole body. 
I wear two always when in the water and we'll soon get the Zeppelin as well. I recommend you get one. The sharks are still coming way too close. While wearing the shark bands and only turn away at the last second, I would bump into the magnetic uh, level by 20 folds. And so the sharks wouldn't want to come within several yards of the device. Now, that's the thing as well with this product. So if it's really true that this thing works and that the sharks are coming in way too close still, they're coming in way too close, but they're coming in they, they, they only turn away at the last second, as in right when they get like, like I would say like a centimeter or two away from you, then that is a massive problem as well. That means also there has not been any research done on this product. And again, I mean, this product is just, it's, I don't know how somebody could be so pathetic into buying this product. I mean... Um, this person writing, but there have been attacks on people while wearing these. This is just a psychological safeguard. If anything, I'm going to like that comment. Thank you, Mook Baylock, for writing that on Shark Band's video. You are awesome. So you shout out to Matt, to Mook Baylock for writing this. Um, so yeah, writing, but there are, there have been attacks on people while wearing these. This is just a psychological safeguard, if anything. So I'm going to say it two more times before moving on to the next, the replies and the comments. A few more comments. How many comments are on this video? 28. So yeah, we can read the whole entire comment, all the comments. Um. So yeah, Mook and Mook Baylock writing, but there have been attacks on people while wearing these, this is just a psychological safeguard. If anything, again, I'm going to read again before reading on. But there have been attacks on people while wearing these. This is just a psychological safeguard. If anything, like there has been a report of a 14 year old last year on December 27th in Florida, Cal in Florida, um, USA, where I said Florida, California. Um, yeah, well, you know, because you know, last year, remember when I was telling, when I was reading to you guys, you were reading as well with me, that there has been that there um, was an attack. There was a shark that a shark attacked it. A, a shark attacked a fourteen year old um, in Florida while wearing one of those. So yeah, there has been more than just that fourteen year old kid that got attacked. Um. This person replies to Mook Baylock writing, actually one of one must conquer that more attacks have been prevented than attacks that have been occurred. This person writes, the only known attack was on a 15-year-old kid surfer who jumped off his board on a shark. That was a provoked attack and the device wasn't in proper use. I don't know about that. Okay, yes. The attacks prevented far outweigh than he occurred. Okay. Um, imagine shark bands on Shark Tank. Sharks hate this one simple trick. How about the great whites? Right. And tigers. Maybe I wouldn't uh, stuff a human full of food. So they associate humans with food next time. I just thought the same. This is a wrong way of testing the product with serious longer term consequences. Exactly. So at Yip F R R and at uh Kenon uh Z. Thank you again for writing what you guys wrote as well. Um saying, you know, maybe I wouldn't stuff a human full of food so they would associate humans with food next time. And I just thought the same. This is a wrong way of testing the product with serious long-term consequences. And also to the fact that, again, like I was saying earlier, that, you know, every way that they're testing these is just very, very wrong. Very, very wrong. Using animation, using dummies, using 
you know, I mean, excuse me, excuse me, but yeah, just, it's just every single way they're testing their products is just ridiculous. Okay, this person writes, it's a somewhat of a long comment, but we're going to read it anyway. I wonder what the long-term effects are on the sharks. Whales and dolphins rely on um, uh, echolocation to navigate through their environment and sonar equipment from ships and submarines scramble um, their brains since sharks use electronic electro electrical signals to find food. How strong of a signal are these bands creating? If it's too strong, will it affect the sharks long-term or other ocean life in the long run? I assume these bands are made with a safe frequency in mind. So this person replies saying, okay, this is a long reply, we're going to read it anyway. It says in the FAQ on the website that the field is undetectable after 10 feet. This prevents it from attracting sharks, which might otherwise spot a small magnetic field far away and come over to investigate. Basically, this project is only really marketed as being effective within a small radius of a few feet. Even in the footage, you can see how close the shark the sharks get before the magnetic fields basically useless base um um uh even in the footage you can see how close the sharks get before the magnetic field becomes too strong and they back off even they meant they even mentioned the faq that white sharks are ambush predators and these bands are basically useless at deterring that sort of ambush attack once the white shark initiates the ambush and builds up momentum, it will be going too fast to stop once the magnetic field is in range. This product is for deterring investigating sharks, not ones that have already committed. So basically, you know, exactly. So basically what at Abdul Kareem Lanas 7595 is saying is that you know, yeah, great white sharks are one of those sharks species that are ambush predators. As in, you don't see it. You don't. You don't see them when they're when they're on um, when if they're gonna come and attack you. Basically, I mean, if you can see the shark, you know, uh, before it gets closer to you, then yeah, you'll have time to get away safely if you can. Or I don't know. I get so confused on the right way to you know, you know, stay safe on that situation. I've never been in a situation, but exactly, you know, and it's because really when we're out there, because when we're in the ocean, we're in the shark's home, we're in their territory. So basically when sharks are coming over to us, they're investigating us basically, right? And they only come and attack us for two reasons. If we're provoking them or if we're, um, you know, if they, uh, if we're the only, um, only, you know, the living thing around in the area and there's no fish um, around and they see us and they're super hungry and, you know, that's when they'll, they'll get us. And so, but when we don't see them, that's when, you know, we're, um, you know, that's basically you know, when, you know, we're, uh, you know, we could be attacked without even knowing it. So, um, or without knowing it at first, if we survive. So, I mean, again, I mean, these are just such use, this is just a, such a useless product. I'm so glad that there's others out there that uh, I'll comment on this video later on. I'm not live with you guys, but on my own time, I'll go and comment on this video and, um, you know, explain my thoughts as well. So this person um, writes, well, is it's that or be eaten? Exactly. Now, this person writes at the $128, really, for what? So... I am going to uh, subscribe to at Yurla Yachts Tube at Wayne 
1562 at Abdul Kareem Loss. Uh, J, uh, JB Zookeeper at Kanaz, yeah, prefer, and um, McBaylock. I'm gonna go ahead and subscribe to your guys' channels right now, Hi. um, as we speak. So, go ahead and you guys get those notifications that you guys have been subscribed by me. I will go ahead. I first um go and subscribe back to me you guys with notifications. I first so I'm gonna go ahead and uh subscribe to you guys. Um so even though you know so I'm gonna subscribe to you no matter what. I first. Um, I mean, you because you made um two different you know types of comments, but I'm sorry, I still subscribe to you. Um, that's a cool turtle. I first. Um. I first. So yeah, I mean it's uh. So yeah, like they have um. You know, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna learn about sharks. So sharks, um. So let's, as a matter of what year it was filmed and put on here on YouTube, we're just going to watch it anyway. So let's uh, go ahead and watch Sharks 101 National Geographic from four years ago. Excuse me. Let's go on and watch this video. <laughs> Because I want you guys to learn about um, sharks more. And by that, um, I want you guys to understand that sharks, um, you know, what they are, what they, you know, just everything about sharks. Um, and so in this video, which I love National Geographic, um, sharks can rouse a fear and all like no other creature in the sea. Find out about the world's biggest and fastest sharks, how sharks reproduce, and how some species are at risk of an extinction. Now, sharks, before we continue playing the ad, um, and, there, and then start the video, is this, that sharks, they do rely on echo, I forget what it said, that versus comment, you guys can go back and, you know, to this video and, and and read that comment um but they do rely on that so creating a product that you know using parentheses i'm using because i don't believe it but if it is true that these shark bands actually have like the magnetic you know field or whatever in them um and then once you enter the water um and your arm or your leg is in the water it activates that i guess or whatever it's going to ruin the shark's ecosystem and everything. And um, so, yeah, sharks and basically all fish, they, you know, they all, uh, they, they rely on that. So, you know, the, the, the shark bands company, they're, they're scamming you and what they're doing is wrong. So hashtag. So I want you guys, when you guys share this video, when you guys comment on this video, please, Please comment when you comment on my video here on this video. Comment hashtag boycott shark bands.
They glide through the water with unmistakable grace. Remnants of an ancient past, they dive and they rise from the ocean's murky depths to its sun-kissed shallows, rousing fear and awe like no other creature in the sea. The world's biggest living fish is a shark. Of the estimated 34,000 species of fish, the largest are whale sharks. These gentle giants usually grow to about 40 feet long and weigh an estimated 15 tons. Their mouths alone can span four feet wide. The gigantic whale shark, however, pales in comparison to the largest fish that ever existed, the megalodon. Oh, and by the way, before it leaves my mind, my brain real quick is this. We need sharks in our oceans to survive. We need sharks to keep swimming around. And if we deter them away from us while we're out in the ocean, plus we're not, we're, we're plus we're, when we're out in the ocean, we don't even know if there's a shark around unless we see the fin, the, the top fin, you know, this thing right here, the top fin sticking out of the water. So basically, using this product to deter what we we don't even know that it's even near us. So when we're out there in the water, whether we're swimming, scuba diving, whatever it is, if we don't see it, then we don't know it's there. And so therefore, we are not able to deter it away from us. So the whole idea of trying to deter something that we don't even know that is around us when we're in the ocean, first of all, is is ridiculous. And again, spending over $100 on this product is really stupid. So let's continue playing with the video. And, um, and yeah, plus scuba divers, there's a lot of scuba divers out there that actually want to encounter sharks. And they do it in such a safe way. And showing the animation of a scuba diver like you saw um, in that video that anim of the shark band's animation, I mean, the scuba diver wearing a shark band to deter a shark away. I mean, plus, like I said, there's scuba so many scuba divers out there that are actively looking for sharks. They want their... That's one reason why so many scuba divers... Um, are, are scuba divers that's why, that's why that's what they're they actively look for sharks and they do it in such a such a smart way such a smart manner and it's such a safe manner as well to the point where they're not going to get hurt and so a lot of scuba divers actually you know besides going down there in the depths of the ocean and you know you know like in person like with the looking at the like like coral reefs, like wild at the bottom of the ocean still, and you know with all the fish and all that, you know they're looking for sharks as well, and they see one, and like we're not, we're not sharks' food, we're not sharks' food. So I don't know why someone like my own father and a lot of other people out there would want to buy this product knowing full well that this one is not going to work at all. 100%. I guarantee you that. And two, that again, like I was saying, one scuba divers actually look for sharks as one of their, uh, species of sea animals. I see animal sea mammals or whatever you call it. I don't know. Um, and two, um, the only way that you're going to know that there's a shark there while you're above water when you are on a, uh, you know, when you're surfing, when you're paddleboarding, when you're wing surfing, whatever, when you're swimming is if, is if you see the only way that you are going to know that a shark is nearby or that you know there's a shark there is if you see its top fin sticking out of the water that is how here's a fun fact sharks 
will let you know that they are nearby you by sticking their top fin out of the water, meaning this right here. So we are going to use the annotation real quick. We're going to draw, and we're going to draw this real quick. See this right here? Let's see, where is the color? Here we go. So let's do this. We're going to go in and draw this real quick, circle this. So the only way that they're, the only way that you're going to know that there's a shark there is by sticking this fin out of the water. That is the only way that you're going to, that you're going to know there's a shark present. Leading to over 20 million years ago, it's thought that the prehistoric shark could have reached 80 feet long, weighing up to around 70 tons. Unlike whale sharks, the megalodon was carnivorous and consumed any creature that fit into its nearly 10 foot wide mouth. Throughout their lives, some species of shark can shed over 30,000 teeth. Unlike humans, who are born with a set number of teeth in their jaws, sharks have a seemingly limitless supply. They can grow, lose, and replace their teeth as needed. Furthermore, most sharks have multiple rows of teeth in their jaws. The jaws of a great white shark, the largest predatory fish in the sea, can contain up to seven rows that hold up to 300 teeth at any one point. Most sharks, as they hunt their prey, end up losing their teeth individually. However, the cookie cutter shark loses and replaces the teeth in its lower jaw all at once. Sharks are built for speed. The fastest known shark, the mako shark, can reach speeds of up to 46 miles per hour. This speed is largely due to their body's hydrodynamic design. Many sharks have torpedo-shaped heads that allow them to cut through the water with little resistance. Plus, shark skin is covered with flat V-shaped scales called dermal denticles. The denticles help water flow smoothly over the skin, which reduces friction and helps sharks swim quickly and quietly. Sharks also have skeletons made of cartilage instead of bone. Cartilage is a much lighter material than bone, so sharks have less weight to carry. Sharks may lay eggs or bear live young. Egg-laying sharks only lay a few large eggs. They may come in various forms, such as sacs called mermaid purses or corkscrews. These eggs act as external wombs in which shark embryos complete their development. However, most sharks give birth to live young. Called pups, the young of most live bearing species gestate for around one year. Some even begin practicing their predation skills while in the womb. Before they are born, the sand tiger shark pups compete with their siblings. In fact, the strongest pup in each of the two wombs devours its weaker brothers and sisters. Some sharks are at risk of extinction. Every year, an estimated 100 million sharks are killed worldwide, in large part for the shark fin trade. The sharks are caught and their dorsal fins are removed and sold at a hefty price, primarily in Asia. In traditional Chinese culture, serving and eating shark fin is a sign of status and wealth. Because of the high demand and value of shark fins, some shark populations have plummeted by up to 70%, causing a ripple effect in ecosystems and endangering at least 74 shark species. However, measures are being taken to protect sharks, with a number of countries and jurisdictions cracking down on unsustainable shark fishing. In China, shark fin soup is no longer allowed to be served at government banquets, a move hailed by shark conservationists. Through continued international conservation efforts, the loss of sharks may be curbed, allowing the creatures, in all their power and grace, to 
survive for many generations to come. Sharks are an important, extremely important uh, species in the ocean. They're what the, they're the reason why the ocean, they're the, I mean, they're the reason why the ocean is, um, I don't know how to explain it, but they're, they simplify it, they're, they're, um, they're extremely important. And, and also I, it's, uh, with, with sharks, if you do not, um, provoke it, it will not, um, attack you. So this whole idea of a shark band is just ridiculous. And also another thing that I want to mention is also when dad told me, when he continues to tell me over and over and over and over again, the same thing that I just said a second ago, that is as long as you don't provoke the shark, the shark will not attack you. He has said that to me billions of billions of times over the last 28 years, first 28 years of my life. And it is just beyond me to him saying that to me so many times for the last 28 years. And then also have gone surfing and paddle boarding and, you know, wing surfing and all over here in California and all the places that he's lived here in California and where he lives now here. And then, you know, you're in Carlsbad with me. And, you know, um, when he was, goes, when he went to Australia, went to New Zealand, when he goes to Mexico, I mean, and he thinks that he's saying, oh yeah, sharks, you know, you know, don't, you know, I'm not afraid of sharks, blah, blah, blah. But at the same time, he decided to be so naive and, you know, for whatever reason, buy this shark ban that, excuse me, that we all know is not going to work. And again, with the... With, with, do you really think that so many surfers out there? Do you think that there's? Like, do you think that? Do you think that? Uh, I mean, either way, the the it's not going to work. And the fact that it attacked a fourteen year old, it attacked anybody for that matter, it attacked a few people. Um, while wearing it is just, I think, just proves furthermore that it does not work. So everything about it is wrong, you know, and so I really hope that everyone learns something about this video of mine and also learns something about this National Geographic video as well. Um, so just keep in mind that do not buy this product. And if you already have, um, just return it and write a letter to the company that you bought it from, whether it be shark bands themselves or whether it be where dad bought it from and it's swim outlet. And to me, looking at swim outlets website here, which we're going to go ahead and, um, look at swim outlets, um, website here and we're going to go back and look at their websites and i mean you basically have to search for it yourself and um so we got here the swim outlet is um which we'll go over at that website um another video, but I'm just going over here just telling you guys about it right now. Looking at it on my iPad here. Um, and you basically have to search for a swim outlet sells um, swimsuits 
um, uh, uh, rash guards, t-shirts, uh, women's, you know, shorts, things like that. They just were just, you know, sw you know, um, uh, fins, pulling ankle band, whatever that is. Um, I don't know, like some sort of like exercise equipment. Um, one piece from suit for girls and women. Um, some more exercise equipment. Uh, swim, swim line shark soft top floating thermometer. Uh, a jammer swimsuit for men. Uh, more exercise equipment. So it's basically just some stuff and exercise equipment. But then on top of that, they have, they got like an ear wrap, protect your ears in the water. Um, some other stuff. But as far as, you know, the shark band goes, they're selling it for, um, Iron thirty dollars dry land gear, snorkeling and scuba gear. Um, it's under snorkeling and scuba safety and accessories. It, it they're just showing the shark bands. Um, I mean, you know this. Uh, I mean, we'll go over the website as as a whole later, but again, just boycott let's just all boycott shark bands in particular because the way that they test everything i you know we'll go over like the other shark deterrent so to speak you know products and brands and other videos but in this video in particular because i have not researched anything about the others but i've researched shark bands because it is so expensive, and it is the only expensive one on the market. And Shark Bands Company, they're the only ones that are basically making you spend over $100 plus dollars on this product. And about the fish deterrent thing when you go fishing, I, I let's not get into that right now. I just wanted to get into the shark band itself, the Zogo deterrent sharks, blah, 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 thing. So anyways... Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope you guys learned a little something um, and that this product 100% does not work. And again, let's just all come together as a, as a, as, as a uh, community, as a world, as a nation, whatever you want to call it. And let's all boycott shark bands because they're scamming you and there are videos and how they test these is i don't even know this video is already long enough already so like comment subscribe and share please share worldwide and um yeah all right and comment down below on my video um and also the shark on this video here and on the shark bands video that i'll show you guys comments hashtag boycott shark bands and um yeah all right Love you guys. See you all in the next few videos. Peace.